in this video we are going to see a nodal analysis which we are going to apply to a problem where dependent source is given along with a independent source so here is the problem in this problem we are having so many nodes present these two independent sources and a dependent source is given to vx which is a current source depend upon the voltage vx given across this one node so let's solve it by a nodal analysis the step number one is to mark all the nodes in the circuit given so this will be the node this will be a node these two points are joined with a wire so this entire thing can be considered as a one node and this is another node so in all there are four nodes out of the four nodes one node we have to take as a reference now here we need to do a smart selection for a reference node what does that mean if you observe carefully between these two nodes there is a voltage source given no resistance given in this particular branch so it is always better to take a negative terminal of this voltage source as a reference this will serve a purpose where i can get a one equation directly without application of kcl to that particular node so let's consider this as a reference node meaning the potential of this node is zero if you see carefully vx is the voltage across this one ohm which is connected between a reference and this node so but of vx the potential of this node will become vx now so here i will consider vx is a potential of this node that is what we are supposed to get remaining we can consider as v by over here remember these two points joined by a wire are nothing but same node so this is also v by and here i can say it is vz so out of the four nodes one we have taken as a reference we have selected a node reference where the negative terminal of our only voltage source is present let's solve now so let's apply kcl at node x where potential is vx so before applying the kcl we have to mark all the branch currents so we will keep the current directions for the current sources as per given direction and for remaining we can mark any random direction so if a vx is this potential so we have to have a current flowing like this then over here outgoing from this node and incoming for this node and for this also i'll consider uh, outgoing over here also outgoing so let's apply kcl at node x where three branches are connected out of that one is a independent current source which is uh, incoming for the x node so incoming we consider on a left hand side of equation and these two are outgoing this is starting with a x and ending on a reference so it's a vx minus 0 or this is 1 ohm this is outgoing started with a vx ending on a vy resistance is 1 ohm so a very simple equation we will get as 2vx minus vy equal to 10 as equation number 1 in same manner we can apply kcl at node y
not why if you see carefully these two branches connected to this point these two branches connected to this point these two are the same points so in all there are four branches connected to node y so all the four branches having the incoming current so let's write the equation one by one so this is vx minus vy upon one as the incoming current for a y node this is also incoming current but this is a current source so it's a plus two times vx this is incoming current started from vz ending on vy resistance is 1 ohm and this is started with a reference hence zero ending on vy and resistance is 1 ohm since no outgoing current so right hand side is equal to zero so once again if you solve this you will get Vx plus 2Vx as 3Vx minus Vy minus Vy minus Vy is minus 3Vy and Vz over here will be having a coefficient as 1 equal to 0 as equation number 2. Now the advantage of selecting this as a reference is that from the node Z and this reference only voltage source is present where I can say the direct equation Vz minus 0 equal to 12. This implies an equation Vz equal to 12 as a equation number 3. Understand why we have taken this Vz minus 0 equal to 12 directly because over here I can say only voltage source is present between the node Z and the reference. Though we are having a dependent source over here, but that dependent source is depend upon the voltage Vx, which is nothing but one of the node voltage. Hence here, no need to go for any substitution equation because substitution has been taken place inside this equation itself. Now the only job is to solve these three equations. So by solving one, two and three, you will get So by solving equations 1, 2 and 3, we can get Vx as 14 volt, Vy as 18 volt and obviously we should get Vz as 12 volt. So the answer that we require is Vx nothing but a 14 volt. So this is the end of a problem. Thank you.